Welcome to the Louisiana Bobcat Refuge Wildlife Educational Video Series. Let's learn about some of the residents at the Alexandria Zoo, like the Tegu. Hi, my name is Heather Betts and I'm one of the keepers here at the Alexandria Zoo. We're right now at our education building um, where one of our many examples of reptiles is kept. This is our black and white Tegu. Um, and a lot of tegus, iguanas, um, some people think they'd be cool to keep as pets, um, but what some people fail to realize is that they require a lot of care, not only with their nutrition and veterinary, but also upkeep. Reptiles require a um, certain amount of UV rays, heat, humidity, and enclosures that they're able to thrive in, and also management of them. Um, these guys can get up to four and a half feet long and a lot of people don't realize that when they get them when they're tiny. Also, these guys shed and something that um, some pet owners um, accidentally do not check is that with lizards you have to check to make sure that the shed is completely off their toes because it can actually constrict um, and you have a medical issue with that which is expensive because there's not a lot of exotic veterinarians practicing. Um, the United States that would be able to see a tegu. Here's your optional teacher education lesson. Have your students brainstorm everything they can remember about the Alexandria Zoo's tegu for the next few minutes. Remind them to think about who, what, when, where, why, and how to help with the brainstorming session. Once they have finished, assign the students into small groups for cooperative learning. The students can compare and collaborate on the brainstorming list and develop one final group brainstorm to be turned in with the names of all participants. 